Hello, got hey guys, it's Krister here, and well, welcome to the very first episode of our Nether special. I'm not our Nether special of how to use redstone attributes of it, what you make with it. Yes, yeah, so any of that stuff. I actually forgot to grab one quick thing, two quick things actually. I don't mean me that, and I will not mean me that. And I am going to just quickly see if I can get rid of those slimes. Good. Okay, so guys, now, we have the redstone torch, the button, the lever, or lever, the pressure pad, the piston, the actual redstone, I'm wondering just to make this easier for you guys to see, I'm just move these to any other way so then you know exactly what these are. Okay, so guys, we have many types of things. But first up, we have the redstone torch. Now, redstone torches can be used for a lot of different things. They can be used to split circuits like this. Or so wait, no, not like that. Like this. And then, uh, yeah, so also they can pretty much just be used to power any block. We have the. We have a button which pretty much just does what it says in its name. It's a button which turns on redstone. Again, we have more redstone, we can just do this. And it'll stay on this time because it's not just being pushed in. And then right when it comes out, that turns off. So, now here we have a pressure pad. Now for this to work, there is a wooden type which will let you drop blocks on it or you can just step on it, but this type mobs or you can step on it and it will activate redstone or doors or whatever. Now, here we have a piston. Now, for this pretty much is just a simple block which can push a another block. And then here is the key element for the game. Or I guess technically this is redstone. Amazing. And the circuit can go through it for 15 blocks. Now actually show off that circuit going through it, what I can do is this. Grab these. And well next up is the repeater. Now this is a repeater. You, it has four different settings on it. And it pretty much can be used to either add m more length to a redstone circuit or put a timer on. It's that then let's just say I'll grab these, set them all to the longest timer, place down another piece of redstone, grab a lever, and then look. It goes slowly and then it lights up the redstone. So, yeah, that is the repeater for you. So yeah guys, oh yeah, I almost forgot, 
there is one other new block, the redstone lamp. So, of course, it acts like a lamp. You just put down some light, a little certain type of block to light up, and it can just go. It'll just light up when it's powered, turn off when it's not. So, yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. So, yeah, bye.